Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you a brand new feature coming soon to Gig Performer, the Auto Sampler. And be sure to stay tuned right to the end because I'm going to show you some really cool ways that you can use it. Hey, Marty back again from Mark's channel with my friends at Gig Performer. So what is the Auto Sampler? For the sake of demonstration, I have made up a Mahusiv synth patch. Have a listen to this. Now the patch is made out of four VSTs and all of the VSTs are very uh, CPU hungry. We've got a Juno emulator from Tal, Diva, Omnisphere and a patch from Contact 7. That's the Juno, Diva, Omnisphere and a patch from Contact 7. Now, depending on your computer, you might well be able to use a bunch of rack spaces like this without a problem live and it won't hiccup. And Gig Performer does a great job of managing resources anyway. But now it has another trick under its sleeve. Wait till you see this. Now, if I right click, we'll choose Auto Sampler Generator first. So the Sample Generator is an ingenious little plugin that takes all the hard work out of sampling your plugins. You've got lots of settings here that you can fine tune to your own personal needs and what you're sampling. So. Here you can set your highest and lowest notes. That's the range of notes that it's going to sample. The note interval option here is going to let you set up how detailed your sample set is going to be. The note interval of one there indicates that it will sample every single semitone. That will give you the highest level of detail. If you don't need such a high level of detail, I would set that up to maybe three or four. On the right hand side, you've got the highest velocity and lowest velocity settings. That's how much of a dynamic range MIDI wise that you're going to use. And the velocity count is how many sample layers it's going to sample, which is very, very cool. This is really handy if your VST responds to velocity in certain ways and you want to capture that detail as well. The higher velocity count that you have, the more samples it will produce, but the more detailed that sample set will be. So it's potatoes, tomatoes. You can set it up exactly the way you want to. And down at the bottom here is where you set up your destination path for your samples and the names, etc. If I connect the generator up to each synth. Next thing I'm going to do, go back to miscellaneous and choose auto sampler recorder. Now I'm going to put the recorder at the end of the chain in the audio path. Like so. There's a fair amount going on in this pad, so I want to keep a little bit more detail. So I'm going to up the note length to 5000 milliseconds and the release tail because it has a little bit of delay and some stuff going on i'm going to up that to a thousand milliseconds i'm going to call this Mart's awesome synth and now we want to choose where the samples are going to go click the box with the three dots now i'm going to stick this on my desktop and i'm going to make a new folder and i'm going to call it Mart's awesome synth so we'll choose that folder for the destination path and now if we click start, the generator is going to send out note data to all these synths and sample them all at the same time. Wait till you see this. So now we have our samples, right? Now I've made another rack space with nothing in it, and I'm going to put in the Decent Sampler from Decidedly, which, by the way, is free. So now I've got Decent Sampler up. I'm going to hit File, Load, and point it to that folder that I created, Mart's Awesome Synth. Open it. And as you can see, Gig Performer has automatically made a preset for that sampler, which is superb. Double click, and we should hear the sampler. Pretty good, right? You can also use other samplers. I'm going to show you how to do it in contact now quickly. Not to blow my own trumpet here, but these are literally trumpets, so. Yeah, big patch. Uh, how many we got here? Seven VSTs. So we're going to do the same thing again. Now, because it's a brass patch and there's not a lot of movement in the patch at all, I'm going to bring the note length down again to its standard 2000 milliseconds and the release tail back to 500. And let's sit back and let it do its thing again. If you noticed up in the top right, by the way, again, that CPU was hitting 40%. Now this time I've set up another rack space just with contact in it. And I'm gonna set up a new instrument. If you don't know how to do that, you go to, with, with contact seven anyway, hit the um, floppy disk icon there and choose new instrument. We'll go into the mapping editor. Let's now find those samples. There's that folder there, blow my trumpet. I'm going to highlight all these 
and drop them in. Now right click and auto map. I always click this little box here, that seems to always work for me. And just to give you a little quick uh, blast, you can hear it here. I won't go into full details here with contact, you can do that on your own time. I do like that decent sampler, that free one, it's really nice, really nice and simple and quick. Here's the icing on the cake. It's not just VSTs that you can sample. With a tiny bit of jiggery pokery, we can sample any external gear too. I've got my trusty but kind of dusty old Korg synth here. And one of my favorite presets in this old thing is called ephemerals. Listen to this. Lovely. But I don't fancy lugging this old boy around to gigs anymore and I don't think he's up to it anyway. So watch what you can do. Take the sample generator and connect it to a MIDI out block. Now, if you've got an old synth that doesn't have USB, you'll need to do this with five pinned in. Just point your MIDI out block to a MIDI interface that you have. Connect the MIDI into your synth or drum machine or wherever it is. Then route the audio from your synth back into your audio interface. On my interface, the Korg is coming into channels three and four. Then you set up your sampler recorder to record from those inputs. So basically the sampler generator is sending MIDI out of the MIDI port into your synth, which is generating the sound, and the audio is coming back in and getting sampled. Very cool. Now I've set up the generator to suit this particular preset and I'm doing a couple of sample layers here to capture some more detail. Then click start and it will sample your synth. Now it works exactly the same as it does with VSTs and in this particular rack space I've added some extra reverb and some extra delay just to get that funky kind of ambient sound and now it's ready to use. Great for sampling drum kits too. Just grab those samples that were created by the sample generator, drag them into your door and you're good to go. So what do you think? Super cool, right? Now remember that audio sampler and many more new features are coming to Gig Performer 4.7. And for all you DeskQ Gig Performer 4 license holders, this update is completely free. Now if you want to find out more, hit those links below and I'll see you next time.